What's up everybody, Venom here with a quick guide on Dave the Diver. Let's get right into it. Now, you might be wondering how to get the perfect pour every time on tea and beer, since that appears to be something that people struggle with incessantly in this game, including myself. I struggled with it in the beginning until I kind of tested different methods to attempt to fill the tea slower, or how long to hold S down in order to fill the tea without spilling it over and getting a good or bad rating, and how to not fill my beer with foam for the entirety of the pour. And from what I've found, I'm going to share the best methods for getting the perfect pour every time with both beer and tea. First, I'm going to start out with green tea, since that's the one that you unlock first in the game. Getting the perfect pour on green tea is much easier than getting the perfect pour on beer in my personal opinion. Again, that's a personal opinion, but to me it's just much easier to get a perfect pour on green tea than in beer. So how do you get the perfect green tea pour? I use two different methods at the same time. The first one is to pour slower than I usually would, especially if you have employees, because then you don't have to worry as much about serving the customer on time. You can focus more on getting the perfect pour and taking your time with green tea. The second method that I use is simply counting to four. One, two, three, four, let go. And that seems to work for me the best. Again, just pour slowly and count to four. That is what I do, and I get a perfect pour almost every single time, if, as long as I'm paying attention, obviously. If I'm focused on so many other things inside of the restaurant and I pour too quickly, I will get a good or a bad score because I don't take my time and I overfill it most of the time. But these two methods have made it extremely easy for me to get a perfect pour every time by taking my time and counting to four before I let go of the S button on PC. Now, beer is a little more complicated because the foam can get absolutely ridiculous if you pour it too fast. So this is going to be my recommendation on how to get the perfect pour for beer. Instead of holding down the pour button, I recommend tapping it repeatedly in succession. This is going to control the amount of foam that is created from holding the pour button that I noticed. It just comes in mass quantities if you hold it down. But if you tap over and over, it seems to create less foam and makes it much easier to get the perfect pour. It says that you need 20% or less of foam and that kind of negates the massive amount that you're gonna get if you just hold it down. So light taps on the pour button seems to be the best method to get the perfect pour for beer every single time. And that's gonna do it for this guide. I know that it wasn't super thorough like some of my other videos, but I just don't think this needs a very thorough in-depth explanation as it's pretty easy to explain the tips without needing a bunch of filler and buffer words to make it make sense. I think that I at least got my point across as to how to get the perfect pour for both of the beverages in Dave the Diver. And as always, if you like the video, like the video. And if you like my content in general, subscribe to my channel. I hope this guide helps you with getting the perfect pour every time for the beverages in Dave the Diver, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!